Hey, you guys. Good morning. It's Jen and Bunny. Hi, you guys. What do you think of my new hat? Mom said it makes me look real smart and spiffy. I think it's pretty cool, but, well, it's a little big sometimes, and it falls down over my eyes, and then I have a little trouble seeing. But Mom said she's going to um, take it up a little bit, so it quits doing that. Anyway, um, we haven't been around for a little bit again, but mom does have a bunny that's ready to be adopted, and it's bunny number 90. Wow, you heard me right, nine zero. Woohoo! I can't even believe we've made that many bunnies. Of course, you know, bunnies can really multiply. <laughs> That's a bunny joke. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, this is bunny number 90. And we're very excited about that. So anyway, after I get done with this one, um, I have to do a birthday book for my grandson in California. So I'm going to take a couple weeks to do that. But anyway, we just want to say hi and show you this bunny. And okay, bunny, you go over there and just relax and you can talk at the end of the video. Okay, mom, I will. Thanks, mom. You're welcome, bunny. You're such a sweet boy. Okay, this is bunny number 90 um i put a um i sewed a picture on the back of his cape of two bunnies together and i put a number 90 on here with a little tag because that's super big deal and um i wanted to actually <laughs> try and put a tie on him like a man's tie I didn't know how to tie it so I got on YouTube and I went step by step and actually it did kind of work but the fabric is so um thin that I had a little trouble but I mean it it's the um effort that counts I think so and he's got a little carrot dangle so Anyway, um, yeah, that's bunny number 90. And here is the journal. It's just tied with um, some cotton um, fabric. And there's like pieces put together and some, I don't know, letters and flowers and stamping and at the very end, there's a little key. So, that just ties around the book. And sorry, <laughs> you're not having a stroke. That is because I hit the camera again, as usual. Um. Okay, this one is a junk journal, like a lot of my other junk journals. I um, did get a book that had some really cool illustrations in it. So I've been using some of those and I've got book pages and music paper and uh, I think this is a little cupcake liner and a doily and <laughs> part of a quilt. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of layers on here, but you know, I like that. So anyway, inside we have our first pocket. And inside the pocket, there's a little book that says The Adventure Begins. And this is a book for B you and Bunny to um, keep an eye on what you do as you go through your time together. And um, it says, from the moment I saw you, I knew an adventure was about to happen. And here is a little bunny tag. And... Of course, the little tiny envelope here. Let's see what it says. I bet you it's really earth shattering. We'll carefully unroll it. Find that perfect place between the soul and a summer breeze and just breathe. Now, isn't that just lovely? I'm having, there we go. It wasn't in, in um, focus. 
but I just think that now that things are so messed up in this world and everything is scary and crazy and expensive and unpredictable and I think sometimes that's good advice to just find a quiet place, a happy place, a safe place, and just breathe and sit there for a while and enjoy it. And here's a tag with Beatrix Potter. It says, a mother writes on the hearts of her children what the world's rough hand cannot erase. And I firmly believe that as well. And these are a couple of old photographs. There's a mom and it looks like maybe her two daughters or something. And here's uh, maybe grandparents with a grandchild. I don't know. I just, I you know, I love the old photos. So I like to, to use them. And here is a cute little thing. It says, Miss Molly Cottontail is here. She carries my love and a basket of cheer. <laughs> I didn't write that, but, well, it's lovely. And here's Bunny's promises. He was feeling a little frisky, so he even put on his fake pierced earring and his sunglasses, and he's trying to look really cool. I do so promise. I promise not to put the hamster in the freezer and tell him it's a maze. I promise to quit telling the cat she is adopted and trying to rehome her. I promise to apologize to your book club for my unfortunate wardrobe malfunction where everyone saw my business. <laughs> and I promise to quit pooping on the floor and telling the neighbor kids it's raisins. I promise to stop using your good craft glue to try to glue the dog's butt to the floor. And I promise to try to be a good bunny, and I promise to love you forever. I do so solemnly swear, bunny. And there is a little picture of a bunny fairy. I love fairies, you know. I love fairies and bunnies, so what could be better than a bunny fairy? This says, she dreamed improbable dreams, followed her heart, and created her own fairy tale. And I definitely think we have to do that sometimes because life doesn't always work out the way we planned. So if we can make our own fairy tales and our own happiness, then I definitely think it's worth it. Okay, and then what do we have next? Okay, this is a um, no. <laughs> picture of a bunny. It's an old advertisement. I got it online somewhere. I I'm not exactly sure what where I got it. And uh, there's a picture of a little boy and girl in a basket of bunnies. And this is a um, an envelope, like, you know, a little envelope. And there's a song, it says, The Lovely, The Garden Fair. And then we have a bunny with some flowers. And inside this there is a paper it says in the sweetness and friendship let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures for in the dew of little things the heart finds its morning and is refreshed and there's a bunny at the bottom of that and then all of this look at this people all of this is for all your journaling needs and it goes in this super top secret envelope, so no one will ever find it. Well, I'll put that in there later. <laughs> and then here is a little bunny on a card. It says, even the smallest can make a difference. Peter Rabbit. And here is the um, oh Certificate of Authenticity uh, in this little envelope. And here is a little heart stamped on fabric and attached with a pin. This is a piece of quilt. And on this page, we have some lovely lace. And there is um, down the meadows green. Let us go dance and play and search for fairies in the lane and ramble far away. And there's a picture of a fairy. 
And here we have a picture of a couple bunnies. It says, quiet are the little lives, sharing sweet songs and tender words for those who listen with an open heart. I thought that was really sweet. And those stick back in this lovely lace pocket. And then we have a, <laughs> it's an old picture of a girl um, holding a cat and I put some fairy wings on her and gave her a little crown so that she is now a fairy. And this says, there are fairies at the bottom of our garden. They often have a dance on summer nights. The butterflies and bees make a lovely little breeze and the rabbits stand about and hold the lights. And here are, there's a little pocket and these are just a bunch of different little pictures that I got out of that book. And I just thought they were really cute. And they're very, oh, I do have, dear old world, you are very lovely and I'm glad to be alive in you. Um, some of them have stuff written on the back and some of them do not. And so, you know, you can also put your own thoughts on there as well. And so this goes in behind that lovely fairy. And here is another picture of a bunny. And in here is a tag. It says, I'm your forever friend. I will always be by your side. And it's got some SNH green stamps on it. I remember my mother saving those things. So anyway, and this, oh, this is, okay. Now I'm going to tell you about this. I wrote a little poem. It's really bad because I am not a poet, but I spent so much time on it that I was like, okay, screw this. I'm going to put it in the book anyway. And oh, you know what that was? That was my cat. My new cat, his name is Charlie Finnegan. He's very, very bad and he breaks things all the time. So anyway, we'll clean that up later. So this says, grab a biscuit and a cup of tea and read this little story to you from me. And oh, uh, all of you that have been with me for a while um, realize that Bunny is not an only child. He has a twin brother named Steve and he also has a sister named Verbena. And Verbena was found in a basket when she was an infant in a big patch of Verbena out in the forest. And that's where she came from. So, um, yeah, she's very special in Bunny's life. And this little story has to do with Verbena as well. So, down in the meadows where the grasshoppers hop, Bunny's sister Verbena runs a secondhand shop. A walnut shell makes a perfect bed where fairies lay their tiny head. Matchsticks and a bit of twine make a perfect little fairy clothesline. The ladybugs hum as fairy clothes are made, and leftover fabric makes a fine lampshade. So when something is lost, don't despair. Verbena will snap it up and sell it there. The fairies have need of these tiny things, so appreciate the smiles your lost treasures will bring. Because down in the meadow where the grasshoppers hop, Bunny's sister Verbena runs a secondhand shop. Okay, now I know you guys are going to be like, oh, you need to publish that. <laughs> you are so amazing. And I understand. Um, here's a, actually a, a nice shot of Verbena with her name on the back. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um... Don't be too hard on me because I realize I am not a poet, <laughs> but it was kind of fun. And here is a pocket of some lace that I got from my friend Valerie. And it's really cool. It's got like stickers on it. It came from France and um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. So all the stickers left on there. 
and there is a B that I um, stamped on fabric and put on with a rusty safety pin. Here are some um, little tags and some of them, again, have stuff written on them and some of them do not. Find that magical place in your world and live there. I am really into getting away from this world. <laughs> Inside every one of us is magic, the magic to do great things if we choose, to create, to teach, to love, to heal embrace the magic. I just think that everything is so sad and depressing in this world right now. I know there's still good things and I know that there's still hope and all that stuff, but it's very hard to hang on to that sometimes. And I don't even listen to the news anymore because it's just so depressing. But um, there are good places out there. There are good people out there. And all we need to do is find each other and be there for each other and try to find a quiet place that we can call our own and just stay there and be happy in our own skin. Um, this is a napkin decoupage and there's a little tag at the top that says hope. There's always hope. And this is, here's another little fairy and this is fairies come and take me out of this dull world for I would ride with you upon the wind, run on top of the disheveled tide and dance upon the mountains like a flame. William Butler Yeats said that <laughs> in 1894. And my friend Corinne had to correct me on his name. So I think I got it right. And here's another picture of a fairy. And here is the back pocket. It's stuffed full of stuff. Um, this is a little thing about becoming real from the Velveteen Rabbit. Here is a picture of some lady out in a field that looks like a bunch of um, sheep. And this is private bunny stuff. It's very important. It's not just for anyone's eyes. So. Only if you're a fan of Bunny and respect his privacy are you allowed to open this. Within your heart, keep one still secret spot where dreams may go. And then... Hmm. Okay, there's just a lot of things written down there of what you can put in this teeny tiny little book. A bit of everything, sudden inspiration words of love and gratitude, anything you want. And um, you can either even say, you know, secrets and musings and stuff. And put, you can even put in bad words if you want. I mean, the sky's the limit. And then it, this is that thing about writing in the journal and because people will find it and remember you and they will know you cared and took the time to leave a message. And so all of these pages are blank for your journaling needs with different kinds of coffee dyed papers. I love the way they feel. So even if you don't write anything in this book, you can go through and feel the cool, crunchy papers. And then on the very back, oh, Bunny was jealous because I did a poem, so Bunny had to do a poem, too. A poem by Bunny. Do you love me or do you not? You told me once, but I forgot. He worked on that for a long time. That's very good, Bunny. You're awesome. You know, you thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. It took him quite a while to come up with that. Okay. So this goes back in private bunny stuff. And the very last page has a picture of bunny and, um, you know, just some this and that and fin for the end. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it and it will be available in my um, Etsy shop, which I will 
put the link below if I can do that. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great day. Bunny, you want to say goodbye? I sure do, Mom. I sure do. Whew. My hat was falling down, but I'm okay now. Mom says I look real dapper. I think I look real dapper, too. Okay, you guys, um, have a great week, and thanks for watching and everything, and I hope you liked my poem and everything, and um, I'll talk to you as soon as Mom gets some more stuff done and everything, and um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Is that pretty much it, Mom? Yep, that's pretty much it, Bunny. Okay, well, Mom and I say bye, and we love you. See you soon, guys. Bye, guys.